Uh, and of course, in September, um, the Armenia, Armenian community here in Australia celebrated a very, very uh, significant uh, anniversary. That is, of course, uh, it's now 25 years since the Eurasian nation state secured its independence from the Soviet Union. Over that period, Armenia's development has been rapid and impressive. Already, it is punching above its weight. Modern Armenia is enjoying great success despite its difficult history. The Armenian genocide and seven decades of Soviet rule will be enough to break the spirit of any culture or community. But Armenians are resilient and tough. They are also smart, sophisticated, enterprising and hold a deep commitment to the well-being of their fellow man. Today I pay tribute to them and celebrate their anniversary with them. In particular, I honour all Australians of Armenian descent. The contributions of Australian Armenians to our country have been significant. I think of Elaine Joe Hockey, not of my political party, but a significant, significant achiever and contributor. I think of Greg Sogamonia, Manian, Chair of the Armenian National Committee of Australia, who has been recognised for his leadership in diaspora communities. To mark the 25th anniversary, Mr Sogamonian was awarded the Gratitude Medal by the President of the Republic uh, at an award ceremony in Yerevan, Armenia's capital. I've been a keen student of Armenia and its past. I've come to the conclusion our community of nations spends too much time playing word games, arguing about whether what the Armenian people suffered in 1915 was or not, was not genocide. Rather, we should collectively spend more time recognising that between 1915 and 1923, hundreds of thousands of Armenians had their lives cut short for no other reason than for their ethnicity. The best and most effective way to heal those wounds, uh, the wounds carried still by Armenians today and others, is to recognise and acknowledge both the events of the past and the motivation behind them. Only then will the global community collectively be able to offer the Armenians sufficient empathy. And only then will the international community be able to genuinely claim an unqualified determination to identify and eradicate genocide in, ever, in every corner of the globe. The world is a better place for the emergence of a young Armenian nation with so much rich history and culture. Today, again, I celebrate their anniversary with them and congratulate them, including, of course, all those uh, living here in Australia and making such a, a great contribution. And I thank the House for its indulgence. Thank you,